my YouTube friends, there has never been a better time to be a live streamer, right? Hmm. There are a lot of options these days. You got Kick and Facebook and Rumble and YouTube, just to name a few. And there are so many awesome tools that you can use to live stream, like OBS and Prism Live Studio, Polypop, Restream, Eevee Mukes, and a lot more. You would think that makes it a great time for live streaming. Well, I think we need to dig deeper and take a look at the current state of live streaming. So you know what? Let's get to it! There is a funny thing that happens when an entertainment form starts to mature. I would think you could say that live streaming has reached its adult stage. And that means there is an expectation in place for what people expect from a live stream. And that kind of makes it tough for new streamers to get noticed. And when this happens, you could also make the argument that most live streams are the same too, which makes them less interesting. When this happens, people tend to just continue to watch what they've always watched because they're familiar with it and it's what they like. It sure does make it hard for a new streamer. First, you have expectations as to what any stream should have. Then you have a pretty big pool of viewers who are already set in their viewing habits. And when you add on the search and discoverability issues on all platforms, it really isn't a recipe for success for a new live stream. So how does a streamer stand out and find an audience in today's streaming market? Well, first, I think we need to address expectations. You won't build a successful live stream audience overnight. No one streams a few times and hits the big time. No one. Building a streaming audience is a marathon, not a sprint. It happens over months or years of consistent broadcast. That's just what it takes to build an audience. And since streaming works differently than recorded content, that audience isn't just gonna find you overnight. With that being said, there are some things that you can do to stand out and give yourself a better chance of getting noticed in the sea of other streamers. The first thing is to have a content plan. Be deliberate about the games you choose to stream and plan a narrative around each stream. What I mean by that is have bits planned and tell a story around each stream. It doesn't even need to be related to the game you're playing, really. For example, you can drive a narrative with planned stream interruptions like an unrelated but humorous phone call that you can slip in throughout your broadcast. At completely inappropriate times, the phone rings and you answer it exasperated and over the course of the stream, you help a friend who keeps calling to solve some humorously mundane problem. Sure, it doesn't seem like much, but it adds another level to your stream that the audience can latch onto. It also makes it really easy to craft a video to release on your channel after the stream is over, which is the second thing that you really need to do to stand out. Craft original pre-recorded content using your stream footage. No one creates more entertaining pre-recorded stuff from their streams than Dr. Disrespect, so you can see his channel for examples. It doesn't hurt that he's so entertaining to begin with, but the pre-recorded stuff is next level and he uses a narrative that he created during the stream. The third thing is to try to do something that no one else is doing. Now for this, you're probably gonna need to do what everyone else is doing until you're at least competent and entertaining. You can't very well pull off something no one's ever done before if you can't properly execute what everyone else is already doing first. But once you're competent, it's really good to think outside the box. And you can get ideas from all sorts of things. TV, live sports, live TV as it exists today, and even video games. You know what entertains you. If it entertains you, it's likely to be entertaining to an audience too. Experimenting with elements of your stream that have never been done before is maybe one of the things that I love most about live streaming. And you may just come up with something totally unique. And if you do, you're going to get noticed. That's what it's all about. 
No matter what you do, the basic keys are to keep a regular schedule and be consistent over a long period of time. That's literally 60% of the battle at least, probably more. It's not easy to stand out or get noticed, but with these tips, you can overcome the current state of streaming and find the success that you want over time. Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. It's not gonna happen over five streams or even 50. It's gonna happen over time. So if you love doing it, keep at it and keep improving. You're gonna get there. If you wanna see how you can get started streaming to Twitch really quick and easy, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.